Hello boys and girls, today for math we are going to sort two dimensional shapes and this is lesson 12.1 and it begins on page 671 671, that's the page that we are going to work on today that's our first lesson for chapter 12 we are going to draw to sort the shapes and write the sorting rule now um, there is a story over here, boys and girls, it's a short story that says Devon wants to sort these shapes, the shapes that we have over here. But look at it. It says, um, mm -hmm. to show a group of triangles and a group of rectangles, draw and write to show how Devon sort, sorts the shapes. So he wants to sort them as triangles and rectangles. But there's a problem here. We have, boys and girls, we have um, more than only triangles and rectangles. Over here we can see a, a rhombus, a diamond. And over here we can see a square. So we have a little bit more than rectangles and triangles. So how about if we sort these shapes in a different way? How about if we sort these shapes as open shapes and closed shapes? As you can see, some shapes are closed and some other shapes are open. So that's the way that we are going to sort them this time. So over here, I want you to go ahead and write open. These will be the open shapes. Let's see if I can also write the word shapes. Mm, it doesn't fit completely, but it's there. So here we're going to put open shapes and here we're going to put closed shapes. Uh-oh. I'm sorry about that. Close shapes. Ah, uh, you see, it fit better here. Open shapes and close shapes, and here we go. So let's take a look at this rectangle. What do you think? Is it open or is it close? It is close, right? All the, all the, all the lines, all the sides that form the shape are close. So the first, oh oh. This space is moving too much. So this is gonna be our first shape. It's the rectangle, the first rectangle. I'm using David's pencils and he breaks all the erasers. All right, so we already crossed this one now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. The next one is a, a triangle. Is it open or is it closed? It is closed. So we're gonna put the triangle right over here and we exit out because we already use it all right let's take a look at the next shape it looks like a small rectangle what is it is it open or is it closed it is open right it is open right here so we have to draw an open rectangle or yes a small rectangle over here all right and we can cross it out because we already saw it that shape we already sorted. Let's take a look at the diamond, at the rhombus. Is it open or is it closed? It is closed, right? So we're going to draw our diamond or rhombus over here and we can exit out. All right, let's take a look at the next one. What do you think about this one? This is a triangle, right? And it is closed. Closed. So we exit out from here and we are going to put it from... We're going to draw it over here. So this is, I'm trying my best to draw the triangle. You can see right there. This long triangle that you can see. All right, how about this shape? It looks to me like if you close the lines, it would be a triangle, but I'm not sure. So this is an this is open as you can see the lines are not together so it is open I'm going to try my best to draw this shape over here All right we can exit out because we already used it All right let's move on to this big rectangle over here what do you think open or close yeah. It is close right So we can draw another rectangle over here it is a long and tall rectangle. It is a skinny and long rectangle, right? And then the square. What do you think about this square here? 
It has four equal signs, so it is a square. Where do we put it? Open or close? It's closed, right? So the square is going to come over here. Boys and girls, what do you think? What is the group of shapes that has more shapes? Is it the open shapes or the closed shapes? ¿Cuál tiene más? ¿Es de las figuras abiertas o las figuras cerradas? Las figuras cerradas tiene más. The closed shapes has more shapes. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page then. And here, boys and girls, we have an example, just a little taste of what we are going to be doing. And it says over here, here are some ways to sort two-dimensional shapes. By the way, all of these shapes are closed. And it, said, it says it over here. It says on the description, curved and closed shapes. I want you to go ahead and trace the word curved. I'm going to trace it with you. Curved. Ed at the end, you see? We're learning about this ending this week. Curved. Curved. Curved and closed shapes. Ed at the end of closed too, because it, it's, 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 it's been that way already. It's in the past. Closed. So, uh, boys and girls, what are the shapes that are closed and curved? The circles, right? They are completely curved. They don't have a straight side. And they are closed. They are not open. They are closed. All right, let's take a look at this one. It says closed shapes with blank size. All of these boys and girls, all of these three shapes have what? They have straight sides, right? How many sides do they have? They have one, two, three. Let's go to the, to the purple shape. One, two, and three. And finally to the last shape, one, two, and three. So all these triangles, they have something in common. They have three sides three sides. These are closed shapes with three sides. They are called triangles. All right. Look, it says a square is a special kind of rectangle. Mm, all right. So it says closed shapes with blank vertices. Now, do you remember what vertices are? These are vertices. Vertices, boys and girls, are the point where two lines meet. A point where two lines meet is called a vertex is if it's only one and it's called vertices it's if it's more than one all of these shapes they have something in common the shapes that we see here all of them has four vertices one two three four one two three four one two three four so how many vertices um, do we say they have four they have four vertices. How about the triangle? How many vertices do you think the triangle has? It has three vertices, right? One, two, and three. All of them has three vertices. So I hope you got to the conclusion that every shape has the same amount of vertices as of sides. Let's go ahead and take a look at number one. Number one. Now, it says, read the sorting rule. Now, they are giving us a rule for every, every of these questions. And we are going to circle the shapes that follow the rule. So, what is the rule for number one? The rule says four vertices. Another word for vertices is corners. Once again, where two lines meet, there's a line here, where this line here meets this line over here, you get a corner or a vertex. So which are the shapes that have four vertices? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if this one has four vertices. One, two, three, and four. Does he have four vertices? Yes, it does, so we circle it. How about this one, the square? One, two, three, and four. Does he have four vertices? Yes, it does. Excuse me, we circle it. How about this one over here? One, two, and three. Do we circle this one? Mm -mm. It doesn't have four. It has three vertices. Let's check out this one. One, two, three, and four. It does have four. We circle it. How about the last triangle? One, two, three. No four. We do not circle. Triangles don't have four vertices. They only have three because they have three sides. 
All right, let's move on to number two. Number two says not curved, not curved. So we share the shapes that are not curved. We are going to circle the shapes that are not curved. How about, let's, let's start with this one, with the square. Is the square curved? In order to be curved, it has, it does, it cannot have size. It has to be round. So it's, is it not curved? Yes, it is not curved. So we're going to circle this one. All right, let's take a look at this one, boys and girls. Is it curved or not curved? A triangle is not curved because it is not round. It has three sides. So we circle it. How about this circle? Do you think the circle is not curved? No curvo? Hmm. It is curved. Es curvo. So we cannot circle it. No lo vamos a circular. Because it is curved. And here we're only circling the shapes that are not curved. How about the triangle? Do you think it's not curved? Yes, you're right. It has three straight sides, so it is not curved. How about the circle? Yeah, the circle is the one that it is curved, so we leave it alone. And finally, the not curved, another not curved. Could it be the rectangle? Yes, you're right. Rectangles has four sides, so that means they are not curved. We circle it too. And so the only ones that we did no circle um, were the ones that were curved. All right, number three, only three sides. Let's take a look at it. Only three sides. Let's see the circle. Does the circle have sides? No, a circle doesn't have sides. A circle is completely round. It has no sides. All right, how about the rectangle? Does it have three sides? No, it has one, two, three, and four sides. These are four sides on the rectangle, so we can not circle it. How about the square? Does it have three sides? One, two, three, and four. Does it have four sides? I'm sorry, does he have three sides? No, he has one more, he has four. So we can no circle it. How about this triangle over here? He has one, two, three. Yes, he has three sides. So we circle the triangle because he has three sides. How about this other triangle? One, two, and three. I'm, I'm drawing a line on top of the side so you can see it. It has only three sides. We circle it. All right, let's take a look at the last one. The last one is a rectangle. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Do we circle it? No, because it has four sides. So we leave it alone. All right, we're moving down to number four, our last one. Our last one for this page. So number four says more than three sides. Which are the shapes that have more than three sides? So right now we're looking for the opposite of, of this one. We're looking for um, shapes that have more than three sides. Let's, say, let's check out this one. One, two, and three. Hmm, it has only three, so we can now circle it. One, two, and three. Only three, so we can now circle it. One, two, three, and four. It has four sides, more than three. Four is more than three, so we circle. A square has more than three sides. One, two, three, and four. More than three sides, we circle it. And the last one is a rhombus. One, two, three, four. More than three sides, we circle it. All right, I'm going to try to get all the answers here on the screen so you can see them. You can pause the video if you need to. Pueden pausar el video si lo necesitan. And now we are moving on to our next page. Here we go. All right, let's see what we have here. We're gonna continue following the rule. Circle the shapes that follow the rule. The rule is gonna be at the top. Here we go. It says curved. Which are the shapes that are curved? Which are the only shapes that are curved? The circles. Circles are the only shapes that are curved. It looks like a face now, right? The eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And this can be part of the forehead. All right, our next rule, number six. Only three vertices. The vertices are also corners. Only three vertices. Let's check this out. One, two, three, and four. No, 
one, two, three, and four. Nope, four vertices. One, two, and three. Yes, three vertices. Let's check this this one out. The circle. Does he have any any vertices? No, because it doesn't have lines. It's just a curved. All right. How about this one? One, two, and three. Does he have three vertices? Yes, it does. We circle it. All right. Let's see the diamond. One, two, three, four. Uh, nope. So there's only three, two shapes with three vertices. The only shapes that have three vertices are the triangles. All right. How about four sides? Four sides. Which are the shapes that have four sides? Let's see. Hmm. Does the diamond have four sides? One, two, three, and four. Yes, we circle it. How about a rectangle? One, two, three, and four. Yes, it does. We circle it. Look at what a skinny rectangle. Let's see if it has four sides. One, two, three, and four. Even though it's a very skinny rectangle, it has four sides. So we circle the skinny rectangle too. Let's see the square. The square has one, two, three, and four. Does he have four sides? Yes, it does. We circle it. How about these triangles? One, two, and three. Does he have four sides? No. One, two, and three. Does he have four sides? No. It only has three because these two are triangles. Number eight. Here we go. Four sides are the same length. Which are the which one is the well not not the only shape but there are two shapes here boys and girls that the four sides are the same length we should do it has four sides by the way so it cannot be the triangles because triangles only have three sides it has to be the square the square one two three four in a square the four sides have the same length and also the rhombus or the diamond all the sides have the same length. So these are the ones. The diamond or rhombus and the square. The diamond or rhombus looks kind of a square, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get all that page on the screen. If you need to pause the video, you can do so now. All right, boys and girls. Number nine. Here we go. Let's see what it says. Oh, draw two different two-dimensional shapes that follow both parts of the sorting rule. So let's see what we have to draw here. It says three sides and three vertices or corners. So what is the only shape that has three sides and three vertices? So let's try. We draw one side, two sides, and now if we put them together, we get a triangle, right? And he has three vertices. One, two, three. Boys and girls, the only shape that has three sides and three vertices, it's a triangle. All right, number 10. Two sides are long and two sides are short. So let's see if you remember what shape is this. Two sides are short and two sides are long. Do you remember the name of this shape? That is a rectangle. You are right. So the three sides and three vertices is a triangle. The two short sides and two long sides is called a rectangle. All right, boys and girls, we're moving down to the last page of our lesson for today. And it says, Ted, sort of these shapes three different ways. Write sorting rules to tell how Ted sorted them, right? So look at these boys and girls. These are the three ways that he sorted his shapes. What do you think about these? Hmm. These are triangles. What's what's um common between what's the rule between triangles? What's the rule for them? We need to write it down. What's the rule? Three sides, right? Or we can also say three vertices. Three sides or three vertices. So we're gonna write three. 
sides or three vertices. So three sides or three vertices. All right, let's take a look at this one. Here we have a rectangle, another rectangle. We have a rhombus and we have a square. So what do you think is the rule here? The rule here could be four sides, four sides or, or four vertices. Because if a shape has four sides, then it also has four vertices. So once again, I'm going to say four sides. Three sides and four sides. All right. And here we have um, the last way in which Ted sorted the shapes. Look at them. Now he put all of them together, boys and girls. Look. Is in the same way that he has them at the top. There's something common, boys and girls, about about these mm, about these shapes. What do they all have? Well, if you remember at the beginning, we can we when we were sorting the shapes um, between open and closed. Well, you can say that all these shapes are closed, or you can also say that all these shapes have vertices, right? Because even, even the triangle has vertices. Which one is the only shape that doesn't have, don't, don't have vertices? The circles and the ovals, right? So, um, we can say vertices. Vertices. Because if I say shapes with vertices, mm -mm, it's not going to fit. So, we can say, boys and girls, that all the shapes you can see here, they have something in common. They have vertices. Some of them has three vertices. Some of them have four vertices. Todas las figuras tienen vertices. Vertices are also corners, by the way. All right, boys and girls. So now we're moving on to our question 14. Which shapes have more than three sides? We are going to bubble in. Shoes all that apply. So it's more than one, probably. Which of them has more than three sides. Which are the ones that have three sides? The the triangles are the only one that has three sides. So that means that the rectangle has one, two, three, four. We bubble it in because he has more than three sides. More than three sides. He has four. The triangle no because it only has three and we're looking for more than three sides. How about the square? One, two, three, four. It does have more than three. We bubble it in. How about the parallelogram? Look at the, the parallelogram. Parallelogram, boys and girls, have four sides. So it, it falls into this rule, more than three sides as well. How about the pentagon? Pentagon, it looks like a little house, right? It is a pentagon. It has five sides. One, two, three, four, and five. It has more than three sides, so it falls into this rule. And we bubble it in as well. So the only one that we don't bubble in is the, the triangle because it only has three sides. Now, boys and girls, we are leaving our lesson behind. And I want to guide you really quick through the homework. Uh, once again, here, it's basically what you learned, what you did during the lesson. Over here, we're going to read the sorting rule and circle the shapes that follow the rule. What is the rule here? Not curved. Not curved. No curvos. No curvos, not curved. Which are the ones that are not curved? The ones that have straight lines. The ones that have sides. Those are the, the curves, the not curved shapes. Like the square, the triangles, and the other, the two squares and the triangles. They are not curved. So these are the ones that we're going to circle. Estos son los que vamos a circular. Son los que no son curvos, not curved. Four vertices, four vertices. The vertices are the corners. So does the circle have any corner? Nope. Which are the shapes that have four vertices, four corners? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those are the ones that you're going to circle. Las figuras que tienen cuatro vertices son las que vamos a circular. All right, let's take a look at number three. Katie, sort of shapes. Write a sorting rule to tell how Katie sorted. What do you, how do you think Katie sorted these shapes, boys and girls? I'm sure, I'm sure it was because of the size, right? 
it could also be because of the vertices so you choose you can say three sides or three vertices you don't have to copy both three sides or three vertices right Three sides or three vertices? All right, let's take a look at the last one on this page. Explain how you would name a sorting rule for one square, one rectangle, and one triangle. Hmm. What, what, what's in common between a square, a rectangle, and a triangle? Could it be the vertices? Well, no, really, because um, the square, boys and girls, has four sides, four vertices. The rectangle has four uh, sides and four vertices. But the triangle, on the other hand, has only three sides and three vertices. But we can say that squares, rectangles, and triangles have uh, are not curved. They are not curved. So that's what we're going to write. These are not curved. These are not curved yay and we did it we are um already done with the first these are not curved we're already done with the first page of our math homework the second part of the homework is also always easier so let's take a look at it and it says circle the shape that will not be sorted into this group we shape cannot be sorted into this group. Look at this group. In this group, you only have the same thing that we did before that we wrote over here. These are not curved. Over here, we have shapes that are not curved. Shapes that have only size, right? They have size, no curved surface, no curved face. So uh, which one is the one that cannot go into this group? Which one is the only one that cannot go into the group? I say the circle. So that's the one that we're going to circle. Because the circle has only a curved side. It doesn't have um, vertices or sides. All right, boys and girls, number two. Circle the shape that has fewer than four sides. Circula la figura que tiene menos que cuatro lados. Shape that has fewer than four sides. I want you to try that one on your own. Menos de cuatro lados. All right, boys and girls. Our last question is number three. Clue one is this draw or write to explain. A black line is shorter than a white line. Clue number two. The white line is shorter than a gray line. Is the black line longer or shorter? So a black line is shorter than a white line. Es más corta que la línea blanca. And then the, the second one says the white line it's shorter than the gray one. So a black line, this one we can draw, we can color it black. Black line, or, or this will be the, the Y line. This will be the Y line. So now we say the black line is shorter. Shorter. Shorter than the Y line. It's shorter than the Y line. So this is going to be our black line. The black line is shorter than the Y line. I'm going to try to make it darker. Because now we have to draw the gray line, right? We're going we're gonna to make it uh, lighter. And then it says the white line is shorter than the gray line. At the same time, the white line is shorter than the gray line. So the gray line is going to be the longest. So this will be the gray line. It says, is the black line longer or shorter than the gray line? Yeah, the black line is shorter. Shorter. That is your answer. This is tricky, right? All right, boys and girls, that's the end of our lesson for Tuesday. Do not forget, there are a few questions that you need to try on your own. Do not forget to finish them. Do not forget to do your IXL. This week, we're doing V1 and v2 those are the ones that i want you to work on this week only v1 and v2 all right 
it's on your red packet it's at the bottom of your red packet so i want you to do these two all right boys and girls see you later for what we have today today we're gonna do uh social studies all right boys and girls see you later for social studies and bye